We're going to join uh, John Rumpler right now, the Clean Water Program Director and Senior Attorney at Environment America for a little more perspective on this. John, thanks so much for being here. Break this down. What happens to the water inside these very old pipes that makes it so dangerous to consume? Well, when, when water comes in contact with lead, there's going to be corrosion, and that lead is going to leach off into the water, and that's what people are drinking. Uh, there are about 9 million or more of these lead pipes called lead service lines all around the country, and they've got to go. They've got to go, and I know that you're on a campaign to make that very much happen. How many cities do you think across the nation are at a risk for actually having poisonous water? Well, as I say, there are 9 million or more of these lead service lines uh, out there. So wherever those lead service lines are, they're, they're a disaster in the making. We shouldn't wait for things to get as bad as they have in Flint or Newark or Benton Harbor. We should proactively remove these lead service lines. But you're saying 9 million. Do you know which cities we should be focusing on besides the ones that are, you know, famously in the news right now? Well, Chicago probably has more lead service lines than any other uh, city in the country. Um, but really, it's a widespread problem. There are even suburban and rural areas that have lead service lines, too. And that's why it's not surprising that there's widespread bipartisan support for Congress to fully fund removing these lead service lines. For uh, somebody who is just joining us right now, do you think that this is something that's going to become more of a crisis in the future, even with uh, this bipartisan support? It, it, it's going to take some time to replace all these lines. It's going to take some time. But, you know, just like when you've got three or four homework assignments stacked up and your teenager is panicking, the best thing to do is get started right now. Mm -hmm. And that's what we need to do is buckle down and get this done. Yeah. Um, I should say that in addition to these lead pipes that mostly go to people's homes, there's also a problem of lead contamination even in our schools where kids go to learn and play every day. Mm -hmm. Our research has found faucets and fountains thousands and thousands of them uh, in every kind of community across the country where there's lead in the water. That's just inexcusable. It's time to get the lead out. John, we want to uh, thank you for being with us this morning and, and appreciate your work uh, trying to keep America's water safe. Thank you.